Hello, everyone. My name is William Hemsworth. Welcome back to the program. Pleased to have my guest, John Benko. John is the founder of uh, Deeper Truth Catholic. So we're going to talk about a little bit about his apostolate. Uh, John, how are you doing today? Doing wonderful, William. Great. It's great to have you on. And uh, for full disclosure, just so everyone knows, I do help out with Deeper Truth. I'm pleased to be helping out for a couple months. And John reached out to me and I was, I'm always pleased to help out fellow Catholics who are trying to spread and defend the faith. So, John, first of all, before we get into the interview, I want to thank you for uh, reaching out to me and asking me to help, to uh, assist you. It, it's, it's been fun. Oh, it's been a blessing. It's, uh, uh, it's definitely been something that you've definitely added to what we're trying to do there. Okay, so tell us a little bit about Deeper Truth and like how the idea got started. Well, uh, my first uh, kind of foray into the internet was um, a political blog and uh, it was a political blog and a political show and it actually got uh, to be honest with you much bigger than than deeper truth has has, has ever gotten uh, at one point we were the uh, we were in the top 120th of one percent of political blogs worldwide wow and uh, our show was the number one rated a political show on blog talk radio for nine months for the first nine months uh, until they brought a political director in and this political director decided that she was going to have her own show and operate the mechanics of blog talk radio so that uh, she would uh, her shows would always get promoted and everybody else's would be pushed to the back burner including ours so I kind of got into the politics of politics <laughs> you know, okay. you know what I'm saying and it disillusioned me a little bit because my approach to uh, all things political was to be um, brutally honest uh, I just I, I said things as I as I saw them uh, I agreed with our uh, quote side when I thought it was appropriate but I disagreed with our quote side uh, when it was not appropriate. And everything came to a head on election night, 2008, because one of the things that I like to do was get into the analysis of the polls and, and what the polls were saying, what the numbers were saying. And, and really, you know, like I said, call it as I see it. And everybody expected me uh, you know, because I was a con conservative bent to just jump on the bandwagon, the the John McCain was going to win bandwagon, and come on, William, <laughs> anyone yeah. on the eve of two thousand eight that thought John McCain was going to win that election was yeah. just delusional. God bless, I, God bless him. I live in Arizona, and you know he's obviously huge here, but yeah, I'm with you. I don't think he really had a chance. So. <laughs> And uh, so the viciousness of the attacks from, from both sides really started me to, to re-examine a lot of the conclusions that I'd come to. And I, and I thought there was a place for a practicing devout Catholic in the political stream, uh, but there is only if you're willing to sacrifice your Catholicism at the altar of whatever uh, political ideology you claim right. uh, to, to belong to. There's no, there's no deviating from the orthodoxy. And, and some of the most vicious attacks that I actually received were from so-called conservative Christians. Uh, and one in particular um, just attacked and vilified us online to the point where I just I just walked away from it and I mean some of the guests that we had on our blog doc radio show we had some heavy hitters we had Tom Burnett senior who was uh, the, the father of the of uh, the 9-11 uh, United 93 hero we had a former governor of Virginia we had Lieutenant Colonel Buzz Patterson was on our show Michelle Malkin we had on uh, but I, I couldn't stand the stress of being um, asked to act against who I was. So then I sat down and did some soul searching and decided that, 
you know what? My Catholic faith is who I am and everything else flows from that. Uh, but then even among Catholics, I found, um, and I'm sure you've run across this too, a, 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 a ridiculous simplicity of the faith and, and, uh, and a, no desire to go deeper. Uh, right. Uh, deeper truth because you can only get so much mileage out of i love jesus yes i do i love jesus how about you at, at some point you have to take it a little bit further and get into the depths and and the uh and the deeper meanings of our faith so i kind of form deeper truth kind of almost as if debating this this one particular person uh, who was just viciously attacking all things Catholicism, and and I'd go through with the Bible and and these on air, you know, play audios of, of the things that she was saying, and and uh, after a short while, I started running into other people that were defending the faith, and the first one I ran into was Don Hartley, mm -hmm. and after about uh, nine, I think it was nine episodes, I brought him aboard. Uh, and he just kind of took it and, and, and ran with it. We brought in Gregory Thompson after that. Uh, and, and it's just kind of grown from there. Okay. And, and this was uh, 2009, I believe? Yes, 2009, correct. Okay. Yeah, and, and so this is relatively early on, well, relatively speaking, compared to how everything has exploded today. So I guess... What were those beginning, what were those uh, early months like? Did everything take off relatively smoothly? Were there any hardships that came up? What was it like? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, the deeper truth that I found in my life, um, uh, for, for me, the, the biggest difficulty is was trying to square the deeper truth of my own reality with the deeper truth that I was trying to 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 live out and and and, and convey, and and it wasn't that I was playing a role or acting. It was it it that was the person that I really wanted to be, uh, and I, and I found such tremendous difficulty in my own personal life because of the fact that no one in my personal life, my my wife, my kids my brothers uh well exception really of, of one brother but for, with, with, with the exception of him no one really was on board with what i was trying to do in in terms of uh the faith. even my mother's faith I mean, she's been catholic all her life but not until the last few years has she wanted to go deeper and actually read the lives of the saints and understand why we believe the things that we that we do. So I had this public persona with deeper truth where I was absolutely in love with Jesus, absolutely in love with the Catholic faith. And at the same time, I was living in a family life that of outright hostility to the Catholic faith, not just indifference to it, hostility okay. to it. Uh, and, and that was very, very difficult uh, for me to navigate. Okay. Now, do you think part of that hostility was that you left the political realm with the, the successful political show into then going deeper into the faith? So what do you no. think was the reason why? No, the, the, the main hostility was the fact that um, there's just a lot of trauma in my family. Uh, okay. my, my wife went through a lot of trauma uh, as, a, as, as a young girl.